units are the most important part of Wild Forest because the entire gameplay revolves around them. Units are what you use to be able to play the game. Units are what people farm to sell and earn. And of course, their quality dictates how well you will do in the game. So given their importance, units also come with their own progression, which is their rarity and their level. Level is extremely important because higher levels equals a stronger unit. Higher HP, higher attack speed, harder attack damage, and so on. So the unit's rarity also dictates the max level a unit can be with commons being limited to max level 10, for example. So naturally, higher rarities is more important for units because this means that you can level them up higher levels, which means that they get stronger because naturally they have higher stats, right? But that's not all because there are these things called perks. So a unit gains one random perk after it gets upgraded to epic and legendary. What this means is that units can be generated or pulled from common to uncommon to rare, which is gray, green, and blue respectively, but they need to be manually upgraded to epic and legendary, which is purple and gold. Naturally, this means that a same level epic unit compared to a same level rare unit will be drastically different in terms of power level. Even the weakest perk in Wild Forest gives an enormous advantage to the unit. Some of these perks are simple like the orange or general perks which gives units increased health or increased damage or as specific and gimmicky as blue or unique perks which enable Stormcat's lightning attacks to chain to more enemies for example. How this works basically is that people are incentivized for good reason to upgrade their units rarities because a single perk can be a huge advantage against someone who doesn't have units with perks. The best thing that you can do right now in Wild Forest is to play the arcade mode which not only allows you to do your battle pass quests without losing any trophies if you lose but since it randomly assigns a deck of units to you, you can test out different units with different perks as soon as now. If you plan on climbing the leaderboards in the Wild Forest once the game goes live in July or August, you should strategize now what perks you want to prioritize for your units once the game goes live.